Hello, and welcome to this presentation on our paper, Agree to Disagree, when deep learning models with identical architectures produce distinct explanations. I'm Matthew Watson, and this was joint work with Bashar Hassan and Nura al Bubayed at the Department of Computer Science in Durham University. This work was supported by the ERDF and Seaverton Limited. Recently, a lot of work has gone into the field of explainable machine learning, with many proposed methods to provide explainability. Perhaps some of the most popular methods are post hoc methods. Post hoc techniques are applied after the training of a black box model to explain individual decisions. And they're popular because they're adaptable to most deep learning architectures and they provide local per sample explanations. The current de facto post hoc technique is SHAP. And we have some SHAP examples on this slide. So in the top right, there's an MNIST sample. And on the bottom here, we have chest x ray sample. So on the left, we have a random sample from the MIMIC CXR dataset. This are the SHAP values for this sample on a DenseNet 121 model trained with the random seed 2. Here is the SHAP values for the same sample, but from a DenseNet 121 model trained with the random seed 5. And here we have the differences between the SHAP values of the two models. And as you can see, the differences are quite significant. Where can model variations come from? Well, training hyperparameters can greatly affect the resulting learned model. So changing things like the random seed, the dropout, or the order of the training data will affect the final model. And what we want to inspect is how do model explanations change on identical architectures when training hyperparameters are changed. So to do so, we first need to come up with some sort of definition of explanation inconsistency. So how much do model explanations change? So this, this first equation is the general form of our measure, and it's essentially a normalized version of the separability between models. So for any given model architecture, we train multiple versions of that model with different hyperparameters. And then for every pair of those models, A and B, we calculate the separability of the explanation values. So that leads to the question, well, how exactly do we measure separability? In our paper, we investigate a few different methods and we settle on using a binary logistic regression classifier. And that's what this equation below is highlighting. So what we do is we train a binary logistic regression classifier on the shut values from two identical deep learning models where the two deep learning models were trained with different hyperparameters. And what this first box plot here shows is that across all of the model architectures tested and the two data sets tested, we see extremely high inconsistency of the explanations. With the exception of the one kernel-based method, we tested SVMs. And below, we can see that there's very little correlation between explanation consistency and explanation quality. So in this case, infidelity and sensitivity. And this, coupled with the fact that kernel-based methods don't see inconsistent explanations, highlights the fact that this is most likely an issue with deep learning models and not the explanation techniques themselves. So this is our final results. And you can see the consistency for all of the model architectures tested across the two data sets tested, so MNIST and MIMIC CXR chest x-rays, and indeed across the two explanation te techniques tested, SHAP and integrated gradients. And what you can see is that across all variations, we see extremely low consistency. And this is despite the fact that accuracy was state of the art for the relevant tasks. And in fact, the accuracy does not vary anywhere near as much as we see the explanations vary. So to conclude, we've shown that models produce significantly different explanations when hyperparameters are changed. And this is going to present significant barriers to deep learning adoption in sensitive scenarios where transparent algorithms are imperative. And we hypothesize that in fact, it probably means that models likely aren't learning causal features. And in the future, we want to investigate developing model architectures that produce more consistent explanations and further the study by looking at different data modalities. So in this paper, we focused on images, but what about tabular data or time series data, for example?